Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Gunlocked. What is Gunlocked? Well, it's a bit like Vampire Survivors. What is Vampire Survivors? Well, it was uh, kind of a small game made huge uh, basically last month or maybe a couple months ago. Uh, kind of an arcadey game where you uh, leveled up and evolved and then uh, you died and had to do it all over again. And it was really addictive, super addictive. And so is this one. This one is really really fun I'm I've I've been playing it a little bit I was gonna do a uh, first impressions let's try but I couldn't help myself I wanted to give it a give it a go and and I'm glad I did because man this game is so much fun I'm really really enjoying it so what is uh what is this game well so this looks like your standard kind of shooter shmup don't it but um we're maybe lose the shoot em part it's more of an up it's just, it's just the up part. Um, we're basically just focusing on moving and dodging, avoiding, and uh, eventually we are gonna get uh, some more weapons in our arsenal. But yeah, we're just, we're just worrying about trying to, trying to put things in our radar there to home our missiles in and collect the, the precious, precious gems that fall from the enemies but uh yeah we we basically we're gonna be leveling up our weapons eventually they become ridiculous and so does this game it becomes honestly so high octane that it's a little bit hard to keep your eye on everything but it's uh it never feels like yeah i mean i guess overwhelming is the word it is pretty overwhelming but in a fun way i i really really enjoyed this and it's it's like it really it is addictive to you want to kind of like play again right away to see if you can get a little bit farther and see if you can um, see some different weapons. Um, you, I think the only thing this game is missing, um, if, it, if it's to be compared to Vampire Survivors, is like this stupidly juicy animation of the, uh, the chests opening. So what do we have here? Adds an extra projectile to all of your non-homing projectile abilities. Um, non-homing, okay. A force field forms in front of your ship when an enemy is within range. The field triggers, knocking back and stunning any nearby enemies for 0.5 seconds. When an enemy trap is within range, releases a pulse of energy. Well, I haven't tried gravity wave, so let's try gravity wave. And, I mean, like, we are going to be collecting more weapons, but we're also going to be upgrading our weapons too, right? Um, that becomes an option more and more as we uh, progress here. And as we do progress, the enemies are, of course, going to progress as well. They're going to be getting spicier weapons and uh, things. The screen is going to be filled to the brim with, with a lot more stuff going on. All right, so we've got new enemies now. They, they're shooting homing missiles. I'm already starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed. You, 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 the, like... You really do want to try and kill as much as you can on the screen because then you'll get more experience and like, yeah, that experience is like all of the reward you need, all of the motivation you need so you can see what kind of new spicy weapons you can get. So so we could upgrade our gravity wave, that would be nice. We could also upgrade our gun lock. I, I really like uh, magnetosphere, this lets us pull in more uh, gems, that would be amazing. But I can't help but uh, go for the like basically leveling up our basic weapon that would be so much better. I haven't actually seen what this weapon looks like when it's fully leveled up. I, I usually go for other things just to see the novelty of of having like a ridiculous number of weapons. Our radar is already like huge. Ooh. All right, things are getting uh, a little bit spicier. But we've got some, we've got a really nice weapon so far. What was this? Beam weapons. Oh, we don't have any beam weapons. Not applicable. Creates beacons of pulsing energy every two seconds. Move over them and make. I I've gotten this one before. I'm not a huge fan of it. Shock bomb creates two targets in front of your ship in random locations. After a short delay, these targets lock in place, and you launch two explosive projectiles. Okay, sure. We'll take that. I don't think I've gotten that one before. Um, so we have Lamites again. Discharger, there's a 10% chance that when enemies die, uh, Sentry Drone, we'll take the Sentry Drone, I guess. Look at all the traps. There's no avoiding that, so you may as well, like, rip it off like a band-aid. Those will deactivate your weapons for a short period of time. 
Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous now. I would like to, um, one thing I'd really like to do is get, there's a, there's a power-up that will decrease our cooldown, which would be really nice about now. So we have our first boss. Bosses, uh, I don't know if there are too many different kinds of bosses, but this is one of them. I am not doing a good job of fighting him right now, I gotta say. Alright, there's, there's one. I want to hit him with my, my little zappies, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Alright, that was something. Oh, come on. I don't know if I'm get- I don't get any experience from uh, his, like, added little minions, because then I could just farm off this uh, boss. I will get a lot of stuff when I actually kill him, though. There we go. It, it kind of overdoes it with some of the information on the screen, because I can't look at most of it. I'm too busy concentrating on what matters, which is staying alive. Here we go. Heat sink reduces the recharge time of your ability timers. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Now things are going to start to get really interesting. Okay. Plus one projectile. Oh, that's for the shock bomb. Sentry drone increased range. Radar array increases the number of targets your homing abilities can lock onto by one. Yes. Scouting drone and the aimbot augment can benefit from this. Amazing. All I need is that magnetism and um, I think I'm probably golden. Because I'm not collecting nearly as much experience as I would uh, like. Adds an extra projectile to all of your non-homing projectile abilities. Scouting drone plus one target. Yeah. Let's do the scouting drone. I couldn't help myself. I wanted the big weapons and now I'm missing out on all the XP. I'm still getting quite a lot, but it hurts knowing there's all kinds of XP going on down there that I can't get. Plus one homing targets, yes. Or plus one, 10% ability recharge. Let's do plus one ho homing targets. Uh, one thing that was really fun in Vampire Survivors was... Uh, if you basically leveled up a power or ability enough times, it would become kind of like Super Saiyan. It would become an extreme version of itself. And we, we are kind of seeing that now, but it's not nearly as like significant. So I do wonder if there is a that version in this game in Gunlocked where leveling up or upgrading, uh, evolving a weapon uh, becomes vi uh, a thing you can do. Ooh, okay, I'm starting to take hits now. Ooh, nice. I got uh, I got the nuke ability. More gunlock, yes. Gunlock me up. Oh, oh, it's real good now. I got something. I got some kind of power up. I don't know what. The gunlock is actually really... Maybe maybe that's exactly what I was asking for. Scouting... Uh, the gravity wave might be good, but I think... How many on the scouting do I have? Oh, four? Okay, let's make it even better, yeah. We'll have plenty of opportunities to see... To, to level something else up. I think I foresee um, good things ahead of me here. Don't jinx it. He said it. He jinxed it. Uh, trying desperately to get all of the XP, but there's so much. I think what I should do is probably hang out closer to the top of the screen so that I have a better chance of collecting everything. It's uh, a lot lot longer between levels now, which makes sense. We've got an, our, our second boss. I'm not sure if this is going to be the same boss. I feel like they have more projectiles than they did. Taking, I'm taking some damage now. I'm taking quite a bit of damage. I need I need to be able to recover my health somehow. Oh! I don't know what that is. Invulnerable. Okay. Nice. I need to I need to kill this guy. He's a real problem. Oh, there we go. Yes, that will improve our uh, armor until I take damage. Ooh, repair bot would be perfect. That's exactly what we need. It's it's a bit of a risk because it doesn't um, it just doesn't just repair your your spaceship you have to basically go for it it's a little zone that'll spawn randomly and then you have to land yourself in that zone so it can actually get you killed well not killed but hurt if you risk too much go all in on on it 
Oof. Sometimes it'll just, like, spawn in a zone that you can't possibly risk going to. Like, just now, where it basically there's, like, five or six enemies around it. But this is okay. I can, I can risk that, although I did get hit going there, so maybe not. All right, we've got we've got big spaceships now. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're probably going to hurt more. I'm trying to stay up near the top of the screen so I can actually hit it. I want that upgrade data. Nice. I don't know what I got, but I got it. <laughs> All right, we're taking we're taking damage and it's it's adding up. I'm going I'm going too deep on some of these XP excursions. It's costing me. It's costing me too much. What is that? What did I just collect? I don't know what I just collect, but I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm I'm so close to death. I died. Quick look at the the second one. Um, their weapon works very very differently. Uh, instead of homing, they get lasers. They got it. So you basically um, you don't have as much freedom to kind of move around because you have to. Make sure you're focused and and like on a specific enemy at each time. This uh, this changes the game up quite a bit. In fact, um, it makes it, I would say, harder. In a in an interesting way. I mean, it's all about um, like since you don't have any freedom of like firing or where you're firing, and are just focused on movement. It is an interesting way of kind of um, building on that. Augment. Oh no, that's not what we want. Target line swings back and forth. Um, this is not a great ability, but I'll take it just so you can see what it does. But basically, you, you get this kind of swinging pendulum that will fire uh, you know, bullets in that direction. You can make use of them, and eventually they will do some really nice damage. Um, but it, not for a while. <laughs> but I guess that's like every weapon in this kind of game, right? They're, they're all worthless until they're killing things and, and doing like saving your life, basically. Um, I got this conduit in a in one of my prep playthroughs, the only one I, I did of this one. It's a it's another one of those abilities that feels worthless until it's wiping the entire field, but creates this laser beam that you can you know move around the screen and will uh, hit multiple targets. It'll actually hit like everything it passes through, which is nice, but it doesn't do very much damage. <laughs> it's actually really hard to kill anything with it. Um, until you've leveled it up a couple times, and then it becomes, like, really, really good. Um, oh, we want Magnetosphere for sure. Um, there are some abilities that will, like, synergize specifically with, like, either, uh, homing projectiles or a laser beam. So, like, yeah, it's worth having another laser beam on the field because then you're doing more damage and the other utility, uh, kind of power-ups are, are multiplying the effectiveness of those. Uh, laser beams, but still like you can see uh, even when I'm trying my best to make it worthwhile It's it's still difficult to kind of Get your buck get your bang for your buck for for the random laser beam Railgun plus 25% target range. Yeah, let's do that No, nope, there we go. Oh We can improve magnetosphere or sun striker beams of energy detonate on two alternate. Yeah, I got this one as well and it was good, but it was also hard to, to kind of um, work with. I'll get it. I, I want I want Magnetosphere, but I, I do need some more firepower on the field. But, you know, after a while, you'll you'll just notice, hey, I'm actually killing quite a lot of things on the field. It this, That one does quite a lot of damage, so um, worth it. So that, I think that gave us a more Magnetosphere. That's really nice. We definitely... Oh, Repair Drone. I'm gonna take Railgun. I really, really should take Repair Drone there, but I'm gonna, I, I had to. All of our, all of our weapons combined to form Voltron, and uh, they, they're, they're doing some really nice combined damage now. Ooh, that was a nice cluster shot. Killed like three things in one, in one blast. Yeah, those, those, they do a lot of damage. Oh, plus eight damage per projectile. Pulse Cannon. I'm gonna take the repair drone because it's I like I say I think it's always worth taking. Some of my some of my weapons do inexplicably like a lot of damage, but it could be that I'm it's my laser and I just like need to kill everything around that thing. 
Um, Discharger, there's a 10% chance. No, I don't like that one. Railgun? Yeah, Railgun. Railgun for sure. It's getting up there. It's like at four now. All right, uh, Ray Palm, when a beam weapon damages an enemy, all enemies in an area become set ablaze. Yes. Perfect. So there's there's a, a um, example of a power up that basically synergizes with all of your your weapons. So my extra my extra weapon on the field. Oh, I'm trying. This is probably a game better suited for the gamepad than a um, keyboard. Uh, ray rail gun. Wow, that's a, a full full upgrade. So that's that's it. This is this is as good as the rail gun gets. It's pretty good. It's the entire screen in, in length. Let's get Magnetosphere. I, I do really want the uh, ability cooldown. That would be really nice. But I'm not sure if it's going to do much for us. I think it would, probably. But Magnetosphere is so good. And we can probably collect gems, like, no matter where they are now. Because it's fully upgraded. Ah, yes. Heat sink. But beam weapons have a 20% chance to bounce to nearby targets for 25% of the original beam. Uh, I kind of have to get that. That sounds really good. <laughs> Ooh, free upgrade, free upgrade, yes. I think that upgraded the repair bot. No, let's do the Ray Palm. It's only got a three upgrades before it's fully upgraded. Fully up paired. <laughs> Oh, there's their first refract. I might have happened before, but that's the first time I've actually seen it happen. Oh uh, yeah, this is this is really good now. The laser, the the this this ship model, it takes a bit longer to warm up, but once it gets there, it's it's really good. Even though it feels maybe harder in some ways than the the gun lock, um, I don't know. I, I can't help but feel like it, it's more powerful in some ways. No, I got shut down. Oh, wow. Did I just kill the boss in, like, one hit? Level up. I want it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seems like the destroying the asteroids is, like, highly worth it. It's hard to do, though. Um, yeah, let's get to the last Ray Palm. Oh, my God. It's getting hard to like commentate while I'm doing this because there's just like so much happening and that keeps happening and I don't know why. Just the entire screen gets wiped. Sunstriker. Uh no, I wanna I wanna upgrade the conduit. More lasers. More lasers, please, and thank you. Please refra refract all of the lasers 15 times, please. Thank you. Get the repair. I, I yeah, wipe the screen. Why not? Keep doing that. Oh god, uh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart a little bit. There's too much... Too much going on in the field. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, let's upgrade the conduit. I know repair bot, yes, repair bot. But, I want, I want, I want more lasers. Hive queen. So, I think I... I, I don't know, um, if there's more plant... Victory! Oh, I was about to say, I don't know if there's more plan for this game, but I wouldn't mind seeing some, um, boss variety. But, uh, apparently we- I just- I won? So there it is. Um, let me see, Badger target line sways back and forth, firing a pulse- Oh, okay, so that's- that's a, this guy's weapon. Um, yeah. So, that's gun locked. I'm gonna- I'm gonna let you experience the last, uh, character. This game is, by the way, like, five dollars. So, um, for your, you know, a lot of, a lot of bang for your buck, I think that this one is 100% worth it, and definitely something I'm already playing in my off time. It is in early access, so uh, I should have said that at the beginning, so you can probably expect more, maybe boss variety and stuff later. Uh, but yeah, I, I am really enjoying my time with Gunlocked. In some ways, more than Vampire Survivor. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I think I just kind of enjoy the format a bit more, and... I definitely like the the graphics and the music. It's it all come comes together in a very satisfying way. But in any case, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.